So I always describe this as a healthy chicken restaurant. Fresh vegetables, whole grains. It's really meant to be like soul warming health food is, is how we often describe it. We had a catering program where we, did, we would actually deliver primarily to big offices in Midtown. And when the whole COVID pandemic happened, those offices started to shut down. They started to say no outside food. And our catering program went from like really booming to very small in a matter of weeks. So we effectively repurposed that program to help support the hospitals instead. We launched this hospital donation program a couple weeks ago, and it was right around the time our second son was born. I was just blown away by how all the hospital workers were, were going about their, you know, their days, you know, kind of unfazed, working hard and on the front lines of this of this crisis. And I, I just found it really inspiring. And it was sort of further drove home, like how badly we need people like this today. So that gave way to the idea of like, okay, you know, what can we do to help? And we sort of then made that pivot, like, okay, you know, we, we can help feed hospital workers through Fields Good Chicken. There you go, chicken farm for 98 people. There's nothing that makes me happier than feeding people. I figured that out. <laughs> but I think this sort of idea has been in our, our company's values from the from the very beginning. Our first core values make a positive impact. And we've done that through, we support 1% for the planet and seen it cuts in on conservation efforts. We, every November, raise money for New York City Coalition for the Homeless Camp Homeward Bound. And we just, we kind of try and operate this way. So we have this ability to serve big, large scale meals to people. So that's that was sort of the first pivot to hospitals. Let's take our catering program and apply it to the hospital workers. And then that program has really kind of like started to take off in the last couple of weeks. Wrapping up another meal for the hospitals. Thank you guys for everything you're doing. Really appreciate it. So it, it's fully donated to hospitals. So the, the nurses, doctors, hospital workers are paying nothing. And so it started out as, as Fields Good Chicken. We were just donating this ourselves just here's free food you know this is our part of our duty to support the community is feeding people and then i guess it was yesterday now yesterday morning we've we've finally officially launched our birds for good campaign which is live on our website now and now we're collecting donations from the public and 100 percent of the money that we collect is going towards this program so this is just covering our costs on this hospital meal program which is allowing us to expand it and we've gotten a lot of traction really pretty quickly going to give the doctors and nurses all the energy they need for the rest of the day. Love it. So we have been running everything out of our 12th and University location, which is our, our newest one. I think we've done NYU a number of times, Weill Cornell, Bellevue, the VA, sort of hospitals all over New York. We have pretty good reach over the first week or so. We've, we've donated about 500 meals. And then that's continuing to grow as we now collect donations to be able to expand this. We've gotten a lot of really, really great feedback from people that have been on the receiving end of these meals. And like every time I see one, it gives me goosebumps. Thank you so much to Fields Good Chicken for supplying our nurses with all, all this amazing food. Thank you so much. And it's kind of almost been like a recentering for us uh, at Fields Good Chicken on like, you know, the essential need that we fill here through healthy food. And I think it's like really made us realize like, you know, our frontline workers are heroes in the same way that these medical workers are heroes. And, and it's like, we kind of started to see this as like heroes feeding heroes. Like this is, you know, a collective effort to keep New York City up and, and running and safe right now. In terms of focus, it went from, we were focused on, on reopening our 23rd Street restaurant. We were focused on some big marketing initiatives and brand building initiatives. And really our, my entire attention has, has since shifted to managing the business through this pandemic, which is like, you know, how do we keep the business healthy and how do we look out for our teams throughout this? And then it's, how can we do some good while we're, we're all kind of stuck in this, Just, you know, despite how, how bad things are, I'm trying to take as optimistic of an, of an attitude as I can towards this whole thing and, and I'm like just trying to stay positive you know like you can go one of two ways in a crisis like this you can either be grateful for the things you have or you can be negative and really terrified of, of what's potentially coming so you know I'm, I'm trying to feed off of like the positivity that comes from being able to feed New Yorkers and keep people healthy and support hospitals. Another positive in this whole crazy environment right now is it's given us a chance to step back and have a little bit of fun. Our director of culinary has been creating sort of new off-menu items. So he's kind of playing around and having fun with the menu. So these hospital meals, some of them are right off of our menu, like chicken and broccoli, sweet potatoes, cornbread, sauces. 
but he's also, for example, just created a chicken parm like family meal, which is a baked chicken parm, so it's not fried, so it's healthier, but it's still really delicious with mac and cheese and cornbread and broccoli. How good does that look? So there's an opportunity for us to like have a little bit of fun and this is a way for us to test and, and try new things and get some really good food out there. I got our chicken farm. Yeah. Oh my goodness, look at that guy. So I think this is gonna feed at least four people, uh, but we're saying it feeds four, so <laughs> challenge is on. And I'm like, I'm, I'm also feeling super grateful for our team. Our team's done an amazing job pulling this off. You know, this is really like credit to them to be able to create this hospital donation program and to get the restaurants open every day. The mood, I think in general, all things considered, it's been really positive. I might need a bigger boat. It's, it's been a roller coaster for sure. There's been up days and down days. Probably the toughest day was actually like the one day that I was actually in the hospital. But I think since then, we have like really kind of settled things down in, in part by just being realistic about how serious this is and making sure we're operating restaurants as safely as possible. And then by shifting our focus to doing good for the community, which I think has been a, you know, a renewed sense of purpose. And it's, it's kind of cool to see our whole team start to get kind of excited about this effort and uh, get behind it and think more of like, us being, you know, mission-driven company instead of just cranking up meals as quickly as we can every day.